Hey, good people. How are you? Tip Marshall from Clear Resource here, and I'm excited to chat with you about systems and automation. I'm going to break it down, all right? So thank you so much for tuning in, and if you're watching live, make sure you say hey, Tip, so I can say hey back to you. If you're watching replay, you are still just as valuable. So make sure you say, hey, Tiff, as well. And if you're not following us on Instagram, go ahead and do that at Clear Resource. Connect with us on LinkedIn. Um, just search Clear Resource Marketing. And to learn more about what we do, head over to clearresourcemarketing.com. But let's get down. I'm just going to break down quickly. And I do mean quickly because we've all got things to do, right? Um, and clients to serve and, and problems to solve. So I want to break down systems and automation because I was once a creative entrepreneur in the entrepreneur space and I did not know what systems and automation meant. It sounded like some techie term. It sounded like something that did not apply to me. Now, I spent about four years in my business fumbling through Google folders, Google drives, multiple software and programs, hundreds, maybe not hundreds, but uh, a lot of post-it notes and sticky notes everywhere. So I had, po like, I was the queen of post-it. Now, don't get me wrong, I still like post-its um, because I like to get the cute, colorful ones. If y'all don't know me, I like colors. Um, <laughs> so I would have post-it notes everywhere. I would have so many management tools on my phone to manage my time, to track my to-do list. I mean, I would have to-do list after to-do list for life, business, person, just everything. I had stuff everywhere. So I didn't know that I needed systems until I experienced it. So it was time for me to pay for a website and it was my first big purchase in my business. So how many people know that when you start off in business, you really don't, you know, be having a whole lot of money to start off. Okay. And the money that you did spend, you trying to make that money back. Y'all feel me? You, you know, you picking up when I'm dropping down. So this was my first time making a real investment on my website. And it, you know, it was over a thousand dollars. So for me at that time, that was big. All right. Because if we want to be honest and transparent, many of us don't clear, you know, a grand in a month when you're first starting in business. You know, sometimes even two years later, you're not clearing a whole grand or at least, you know, $1,000 that you can keep. So it was time for me to make the payment. And I was a little nervous. It's oh my gosh. Like, you know, um, this web designer, it was like pay up front, you know, not no, you know, 20% deposit. It was like, let's get going. And so, um, you know, I graciously asked her, I was like, Hey, can, you know, can I make a, you know, can you create a payment plan? She was like, no problem. So I did the questionnaire. I had my consultation. And then after my consultation, she sent me over that first invoice. And then what was one lump sum payment, she split it up into three payments right away. And I was like, dang, how she did that. So I made the first installment right away. Instantly, I got an invoice. I mean, I got the invoice. I got, um, I paid. I got a receipt instantly. And then I got my second invoice for my second installment with the next due date. And I was like what so i made that second installment got a receipt got a reminder uh received my contract i had all i had to do was read click and sign she clicked and signed i got a copy of the contract right away and then i got my third invoice about two weeks later so so i was like yo i was like what are you using i need to use that because i was manually doing everything i'm, I'm like i'm going like this it, it used to be embarrassing, but this is my testimony when it comes to systems. Okay, new level mindset says, "Glad to know, child. Glad to know you, child. Glad to know you, child." Cause <laughs> uh, Instagram, give us larger comments, please. Automation systems is not my thing. I try, and I need to, and wanted to pay for ex expertise. Listen, I know what it's like. So I've always been a logistical type person. I'm a high C, so logistics is my thing. I am, I spent seven years doing marketing. I Most of my marketing started off with doing social media for churches. So could you imagine me back in the day 
seven years ago, seven, eight years ago, probably nine because I was doing it unofficially for free because I was working for the church for free um, for some years. But could you imagine back then me going to church and saying, hey, y'all need to be on social media. Let me help you. I had pastors tell me, Tiffany, social media is the devil. I'm not going to use social media. Um, if we use social media, people are not going to come to church. I'm not. And just look at the times now. But anyway, that should be a testimony to stay ahead of the game and always be ready so you don't have to get ready. But anyway, so I was managing all of my customer and client information through Google Drive. So I always I created a Google Doc and each client had his or her own folder. And I would keep all their documents in there and it was just too cumbersome to get to stuff. I would use PayPal for my invoices. I just had too many moving parts and I spent more time being a secretary in my business. And that wasn't making me any money. So when you think of systems, and I'm keeping this, like I'm talking about, you know, all of my love, you know, my hiccups and my glitches, but I learned from them and I found a system because many times we're shuffling papers, we're doing the administrative stuff. And so when it comes time to work for the client, you know, you don't have any energy. You're already the business manager. You're probably your bookkeeper. You're probably your marketer and nothing's working for you. You are the employee in your business. And when it comes time to transfer to, you know, if it's your desire, if it's your time to transfer from your nine to five to your business full time, you won't capitalize on your business because you are busy being its employee. So systems help you to really work when you're not working. So when you feel overwhelmed, stressed, if you feel like you're doing too much, you probably are. You probably are. And it's just that superhero syndrome that most women have. We're used to getting it done. We're, we're used to making it happen. So let me just break down quickly a few examples of what systems will look like for your business. And then that'll be it for this broadcast. All right. Because I want the replay viewers to get through as well. All right. So let's say I'm coming to you. I can show y'all. Oh, I can't show y'all my phone because I'm using my phone. But so yesterday I got an email, a text message saying, hey, Tiffany, it was Sunday. Hey, Tiffany, can you please give me a call? If I need information about systems. That's what the email said. So I don't work on Sundays, right? So that, that, that text message was ignored. And that person had my number because, you know, we're, we are, um, we are, you know, we're cool like that. Okay. Yes. Many people are embarrassed to ask for help, but we have to ask for help. You know, you know, we have to pause, ask for help. You know, when I know that I need help, I pause, I pray, I try to get rid of some stuff. I'm like, okay, Tiffany, you're doing too much. Let's cut the fat, you know, and then do what matters. Um, my coach will always tell me you need to move the bottom line. If the conversations you're having are not moving the bottom line, you shouldn't be doing it. If the social media content, whatever you're doing, you should be moving that bottom line. So you're absolutely right. So I received that text message. She, she got a reply back during my business hours. And what I did for her was I sent her my booking link. Okay. So again, operating in my business hours so that I'm not overwhelmed, I'm not stressed. And then although we know each other, I have business hours. So we cross over that line from being friends to now you being a potential client. So she clicked that link. She booked right away when she booked, she got a confirmation email and text message. Okay. That booking then comes to me and then I will confirm that, you know, it's a day that I'm available. Most times, 99% of the time I am available because I preset my calendar. So that's system one. How is your online booking? Don't go back and forth with people in the DM or a text message or email like, hey, can you meet tomorrow? No, I'm not free tomorrow. What about Thursday? Oh, no, what about Friday morning? That's wasting your time. So you want to pre-schedule your booking calendar for when you are available. And let me tell you, it has to be when you are available. Don't think about when the potential client is available. People will find the time if they want to work with you. So for instance, hey, Stacey, I only do consultations on one day of the week because I prepare for my consultations. I don't do same day consultations because I need to prepare for you. There's information I need from you and there's um, information that I present 
to you during the consultation and I want to make sure that it's for you. And it also helps me know if I can really even help you to begin with. So you want to set a day or two or three that you do consultations. I tell my clients, don't do consultations every day. That will wear you out. And are you really delivering your best? So preset your calendar for when you are available and then prepare for your consultations. If you don't know how to prepare for your consultations, if you don't know how to have consultations with clarity and confidence to get the client to say, yes, you want to watch the replay of last week's IGTV. So when they book, they need to get a confirmation. And I would say two to three reminders. Your reminders should be set on automation. So email reminders, text message reminders should go out because if you don't remind people, guess what? You're going to be on that phone by yourself. <laughs> You're going to be on that Google call or that Zoom call by yourself. You do what you do all day, but not your prospective client. Okay, so that's one system. Now, let's say they say, okay, I want to book with you. They need to get their quote or their invoice automatically, like right away. Don't make people or don't make it difficult for people to pay you. Do you know how many people would have my money today had they sent me an invoice? Because a serious client is ready to buy. They're not going to stall. They're not going to drag their feet. So if you take a long time, if you take, like for me, if I don't get the quote or invoice within 24 hours, you don't want my money. <laughs> so you should have your quotes and your invoices preset so that people, all people have to do is click and pay. So at Clear Resource, and the way we set it up for our clients is we have all their all of their services on a sheet, okay? And we pre-select a certain service first, and there's a whole psychology behind that. But we have it all on a spreadsheet, okay? And it's customized with the company logo, address, all that cute kind of stuff. All the client has to, prospective client at that time, all they have to do is click and submit, okay? Right away, you get a notification. And so you're like, hey, money coming in money coming in <laughs> all right and then once they select their option they get it an automatic invoice okay they pay they get a receipt you get notified your bookkeeping and your back office is updated and bookkeeping is a whole different thing you know a whole different blessing i should say okay so that is your booking and that is your quotes and your invoices now here's another part of systems that people don't think about now everyone is not going to say yes to your service okay that does not mean that you forget about her or him after the consultation you need to have a set of automatic emails that go out once a week to that client because why? You want to stay in their face. So if there are any other social media outages and blackouts, that does not matter. Because you are building a relationship. Your system is working on building a relationship. Case in point, yesterday, as a matter of fact, I am booked for October. Like, you know, we're booked five and, I, and that's not being hotty like i was like okay god you really blew my mind we already proclaimed that october was going to be all october um so we're booked for october right now right so one of the clients that paid yesterday we've been in communication with her for almost two years she wanted me to do her social media three four years ago okay um, but we're doing her systems and we're doing her website because at Clear Resource, there's a brand uh, strategist on my team who's also a graphic designer. And then for our local clients, we have a brand photographer on our team. So we work with all of our clients together. We do their systems automation, build their website, and I do the back office of their automation for their website. Okay. So she paid yesterday and we've been in communication with this, this young lady for about four years. That's because we build a relationship. That's because after she didn't say yes the first time, we didn't just disappear. Most people lose their clients or prospective clients because they just forgot about them after the consultation. So if you really want to build a relationship and if you really want your business to grow and if you really want to hit your income goals, you want to make sure that you are definitely having your systems in place CRM needs to be in place so that those people remember you. 
okay? I don't know if you all know, um, there is a, a flavor guide. I went to his Instagram one time. I jumped on his mailing list. He sells like um, um, spices that are healthy, that are low calorie. I have not purchased from this man in years, but here I am talking about him because he constantly emails. There are some of your favorite brands that contact you and they're not manually doing it. So if you find yourself sending your own invoices and contracts, if you find yourself sending your own emails, you are wasting time because there's a system that can do that for you, okay? So this is a quick breakdown of systems and automation. I'm gonna give you some more specific examples and I'm gonna show you exactly how it looks here on the screen as much as I can do on a mobile view, okay? If you have any questions, drop them below. To work with me to find out what I do, click the link in my bio. And I also use the letter CRM. If you don't know what that is, and if you don't have it for your business, trust me, you need it. We specifically work with coaches and creatives here at Clear Resource to help you systemize and automate your business. And here's why it matters. Even if you don't choose to work with us, you need systems because you need clarity. Let me tell you, there's nothing like being clear. There's nothing like being organized. I'm so organized that my friends know when and when not to call me. Okay? Because your girl, I have talk time. There are certain times. I laugh at myself when I say that now, but it's true. There are certain times in my day in which I don't answer my phone. If you're not my mother, okay, I don't answer my phone. If you're not my mother and then my VIP clients have different hours. I don't, listen, in the morning, don't nobody get no call from me, no text from me. During lunch, I'll look at my phone for updates, but I have, I have two hours in the evening in which I respond to text message and I pick, text messages and I pick up my phone. That's it. Because I'm just that organized. Every time of my day has a time block. So morning is morning care, body care, temple care, right? Then I have mommy time with my dog. You know, I have spiritual care. Okay, we're going to pray. We're going to do, you know, study the Bible. I have certain time blocks in my schedule because I'm just an organized person that way. So just imagine the clarity that you would have and you can even put your children on a schedule. And it sounds crazy and constricting, but let me tell you, it's free because you will see how much time that you have in your day. And when you have clarity in organization, guess what? You have confidence. So when you have consult when you have a consultation, you show up. You're clear. You're not groggy. You are there to really help your client because we have to remember that we are we should be postured to serve. Nobody contacts us. Nobody books with you because they need you. Oh, well, they need you, right? But they can go to anybody else. So we don't ever want to be prideful and haughty. And there's nothing like being around somebody who always tired. Oh, it just drains you. You ever be around a busy body? You just kind of want to hold them and say, hey, be still. <laughs> just them being all over the place. Is it, it can drain you. But when you have clarity, you have confidence. And when you have confidence and clarity, you can make better decisions. You can really strategize how to grow your business. And that's why we do Clarity Room um, virtual co-working on Sundays. So we can just sit and be quiet and think. We have to make sure that we allow our brains time to do what it's supposed to do think not just do but we need time in our day to do nothing to think to you know to release you know what i'm saying so when you have clarity and organization in in your business you learn how to clarify your life and organize your life and you get to do more and you can get to build another business you can hire somebody when you have systems in place you can hire a, a, a an assistant or get an intern and they can duplicate what you do you don't have to do everything then you can take more days off or start the second business you know now you can use your profit of your business and and invest it somewhere else right so that's just, listen y'all that y'all see how excited i get when it comes to systems and automation listen it's my jam <laughs> It's my jam. So thank you for tuning in. I'll be here again tomorrow at five. If you missed this, 
Um, go back and watch the replay. And if you have any questions, comment below. My DM is also open to schedule a consultation with me. Just go to bit.ly forward slash clear resource or just click the link in our Instagram bio. And we are clear resource at Instagram. Until next time, everybody, let's be clear. You're welcome.